Hello, and welcome to another episode of Author Fan Face Off. We've got one great author, in this case, a couple of classrooms of awesome fans, and we've picked a book, and we're going to find out who knows it better. I'm Steve Schenken, and my co-host is, of course, the leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. Let's go! <laughs> and our author today, Zainab Mian, we're going to focus on the first book in the Planet Omar series. Welcome. Coming to us from <laughs> London, we're all over the place today. Zainab's in London, we're in New York, the classes are in California. So yeah, could you just start by telling us just a little bit about the book and where the idea came from? Yeah, thank you. So Planet Omar Accidental Trouble Magnet is the first in a series of books. There's five books published now here in the UK and in the in the US, sorry. Nice. This series is um, um, features a main character called Omar who has a huge imagination and it's just about his everyday adventures and troubles and the messes that he and his friends get himself into and then have to get themselves out of. Awesome. Um, we have two classes, two third grade classes from Los Angeles, California with us who were very eager to um, go up against you, Z uh, Zainab, and they reached out to us. So we're super, super excited. We have Samuel, who is representing 3B, and we have Ruby, who is representing 3A. Hi. But behind them <laughs> are all of their classmates with whiteboards ready to um, help them with their uh, answers to the questions. But just a really um, persistent, enthusiastic, and we're just excited to have, have them with us today. So we're going to jump right in. Everybody ready? Good luck. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. So this is for the class. When the story begins, Omar is about to start a new school. Why did Omar and his family have to move? For their parents' job. His we'll mom. They had, they had to move because um, his mom had a new a dream job. <laughs> That's what's so funny. As an adult, she got her dream job, and he's like, "Oh my gosh!" So yes, <laughs> awesome, perfect, perfect answer. And then Zainab, Omar, and his family bring his favorite food to their new neighbor, Mrs. Rogers. What is it? Oh, <laughs> I know this one very well because it's my favorite food. <laughs> is it biryani? <laughs> yes, awesome, <laughs> yum. <laughs> All right, class. The dad refers to he has a special name for Sundays. He calls them blank Sundays. Science. Awesome. Science. Yeah. Science Sundays. Yeah. yeah. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I didn't want to say before because again, not giving things away, but yeah, the family, the parents are very into science and both scientists. But there's also a lot of food references, and we always love questions about I know. food. The so Zainab, Omar, he thinks porridge is pretty good, he tells us, if you can put this into it. Biscuit spread. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you changed it for the US version, but um, in my version, it's biscuit spread. That yeah, in our version, do you guys remember what the word, what the specific spread was? Hazelnut spread. Hazelnut spread. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that works. Yeah. yeah, I believe that you got it. You got it. You knew what we were saying. <laughs> All right. So this is for the class. What name does Omar give to his imaginary dragon? Mm -hmm. 2-0. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> Brilliant. H2O. Right. Do you, guys, do you guys know what that is? What that what that means? Uh, water. water. Yeah. I like the stereo with the classes tonight. Yeah. You didn't even have to consult on that one. You just... Right. Yeah, they were just like, oh, h <laughs> Um, And then Zainab, what does the family call their car? The peanut. <laughs> oh, see, you guys are doing great. Excellent. All right, class. Now, you guys know this from watching other episodes. The questions can get more difficult and more specific. Little details. This is a small detail as we go along. Oh, no. How did Omar? Well, the first day of school is a big deal in this story. So Omar's worried about it. He wants to wear his favorite pair of jeans. He puts on, in fact, his, his favorite jeans for the first day of school. Yeah. But his mother sees that they're stained and makes him change. So how did they get stained? He only mentions this one time. He's been wearing them a lot. 
No, there's a specific thing, a mishap that occurred. Black ink. Samuel, yes? Black ink. No. No. No, this was a, this is so, this is almost. Yogurt? <laughs> now you're just guessing. It is food related, but it's just something that happened and it's really just mentioned in this one passage. Ketchup. Ketchup. Oh, you're getting close. Yeah, you're getting close. <laughs> Dana, do you remember this detail? I do. I think it's because, <laughs> yeah, I think I do remember it. Okay. Let's... Shall I say? Yeah, Mustard. So <laughs> getting really tense now. Yeah. Is it, is it a chicken drumstick? Is it? Oh, it no. was, uh, that's even closer. It was a chicken <laughs> wing. His sister threw a chicken oh, wing. Close. Oh, it's got to be Isa. Yeah, it's got to yeah. be Isa. So yeah, it was Isa who threw it at him. Yeah. So we all got stumped by that one. That that's was on that one. <laughs> all right. Now I'm gonna ask one for Zayn. Omar learns that he can tell Mrs. Hutchinson, his teacher, he can tell Mrs. Hutchinson's mood by looking at this. <laughs> um, her hair? Yes, a little more specifically. Oh, um, the way that it's moving? Her yeah. face? <laughs> okay, do you guys want to help out a little bit? Go ahead, Ruby. Ruby's got it. Girls. The curls. I love that part. Yeah. The curls, to be specific. <laughs> yes, I think that's good. You guys shared that one. All right. So class, uh, uh, you know, the whole book has got funny things, and this was another one. Um, well, not funny, but the way that it was approached. Uh, one day at school, Daniel Green, Green ruined Omar's lunch by putting this on his sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> right and then as a reader we're, and then he's like oh because that it's a sandwich oh. <laughs> poor omar um and then zainab and of course well i won't say anything when the family goes to the mosque for eid there are many different people there tall short and even really tall thin ones who remind omar of this fictional character <sighs> <laughs> I do it away. Um, of this fictional character. The twins? Is it the twins from Roald Dahl? The same author. The same author, but not the twins. Call kids, help me out. I, I'm stuck. BFG. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the big fan of giants. Olin. I completely forgot that. You guys are both, you've all done really well. I have one more question, which I might as well ask because I've lost track of the score anyway. So, <laughs> lots of sharing and helping, which is right. a good thing. So I'm going to ask a bonus one. And it is, I don't know if you remember the very beginning where we meet the characters. Omar sort of introduces us to his siblings and his parents. Mm -hmm. and he says some little tiny details. So I hope you're paying attention to that. Mariam, his sister, Omar's sister. Mariam was once caught hiding a stash of these under her pillow. Chocolate! Uh, I'm afraid that's not specific enough for me. Oh, um, Raise your hand if you think you know it. Chocolate bar? Chocolate Reese's? Yeah! <laughs> yes, I will accept that as peanut butter cups. Oh, yeah. So, yes, congratulations. <laughs> Hold it out. Well done. Fan paper. You will not know the fan paper. Thank you.